Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I have a huge story to break. So, are the Rams broke is the question here. Look, yeah, they spent a whole bunch of money on like a new logo and all. And they released two players, so I don't think they're... they're they might actually be broke. They owe money... To Clay Matthews and Todd Gurley. The combined total is a lot of money. I don't know exactly how much, but it's big. Um, yeah, you see, the Rams owe them money. If you're looking at these two articles, you see these two articles. Do you see these two articles? Todd Gurley, Clay Matthews, Rams, owe us money. Of course you guys see it. Todd Gurley on Rams, all fun and games, but I do need my money. And he, he's owed like, I think like, some amount of money. Like 9.5 million, 9 million maybe. But then you also have Clay Matthews, who is owed money too. So, the Rams are like over a month past due on this payment. So when these two guys got released, they got released on the same day. The money wasn't supposed to be given to them until a month later since they were cut. So that deadline has passed. Now, the problem is... Are the Rams going to pay them the money? Because if the, the Rams have to pay them the money... They can... The Rams, of course, they can take this to court. By all means, go ahead. But they're gonna lose... They're gonna lose big time if they go to court because it's in it's in the contract agreement, I think, or whatever. But anyways. Oh, and then also Brandon Cooks was traded to the Texans. Two players on the Rams are owed money. Are they gonna pay up or not? They're not paying Todd Gurley or Clay Matthews. They, it seems like they don't want to pay this money. Who knows? We'll see what happens with this. I will be doing more. Once I find out more news about this, you're going to hear more about this. But for now, are the Rams broke? Like, well, not like they don't have any money broke. But are they broke that they can't they don't have enough money to pay? And if they were to pay, they would have to take in order for them to do something, they have to give their quarterback a pay cut because they have to they have to lower his contract money because of hey A the fact he had a terrible Jared Goff had a terrible, like, ye like year, season. But who knows? We'll see.
And I will be following this closely. We'll see if the Rams pay off. If the Rams don't pay up, hey, this is going to go to court. And I guarantee you, Clay Matthews and Todd Gurley are going to win this court case. If it does go to court, because it doesn't seem like the Rams are willing to pay. Um, and if you guys are subscribed to the Pat McAfee show, you already know. If you... You already know about this, like, Clay Matthews didn't want to release the amount of money he's owed, but he's like, it's a lot. So, I'm going to assume the Rams owe, like, over, like, 20 million combined. This is my best guess, but who knows? It could be over 30, 40, 50, but I don't think it gets that high. I think it's at like the 20s. Who knows? We'll see. But I sure know that. Mm. This is not looking good. Not looking good for the Rams. They owe money to two players. Look. Yeah, you might be saying, some people might be saying, oh, this is fake. And they're all doing this. But there, the, but there is proof, I think, somewhere. I would have to go deep into the internet to get that information. Uh, I don't need to. And the trade is only a... The Texans won this trade. The Rams trade away a Brandon Cooks and a fourth round pick for a second rounder. Oh my god. This is crazy. Mm. Texans definitely won this trade. But they're going to be nowhere near as good without DeAndre Hopkins. So. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I will be. Uh, I will be looking at this. Very closely. I will have full updates on this. I will have updates on the channel about this. We'll see where it goes. We'll see. Tight end Gerald Everett. Yeah. But who knows? This is a huge deal that the Los Angeles Rams owe money to two players. They cut them, yeah, so they don't have to pay the, like, the full contract out. But they do owe the players some money. So this is going to be very interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. This is a huge story. If the Rams don't pay, trust me. This is going to go to a... This is going to go to court. I hope, probably. I'm just saying. Like if the players... Those two players don't get the money. Man. The, the Rams... Man, who knows what to say. Are the Rams out of money? Did they spend all of their money? 
that they needed on like on um on a new logo and stuff. Who knows? We'll see. And I can't wait to see what happens. Hopefully you guys uh, want to keep up with this. But yeah. This is going to be fun. To see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.